Donkey Job, Job Projects. What's up, everybody? This is Marshall Lee of DonkeyJobProjects.com, and today I am talking about artists because we're all control freaks. We just have to control our destiny. We have to control everything. Is that true? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, it's, this is actually not off of a prompt. It's something I really just have been thinking about a lot lately. Um, the question often comes up in my mind, like, why do I do this? Why do I have this impulse to want to create things? And I have for my whole life, like, a lot of people don't have that. I mean, I know people watching this probably are people who do, but, you know, a lot of my friends and people I meet at, excuse me, the day job and things like that, um, you know, they go home, hang out with their families, watch Walking Dead and go to bed, you know, that kind of thing, you know, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's awesome. I kind of wish that was my life because it would be a lot easier in some ways. I mean, I'm not even saying that that's easy either. Like, that's, I don't have kids. You know, if I had kids, it, my life would be a little more like that, you know. Um, but, you know, I would love to have kids, and it, that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> but, uh, you know, also, if I had kids, you know, I would still want to create. No, Nothing's going to make me want to not create things um that's just how i'm wired how i've been my whole life but why why do i have that desire so much and somebody somewhere in an interview or something brought up this idea hmm it's funny like i say somebody somewhere and now i'm thinking i think i remember <laughs> but i can't remember the name of the person ah anyways um it was a writer and author, and she's like one of the most famous authors in sci-fi. She's, um, yeah, so I'll just leave it at that. And she was talking about how growing up she didn't have a very good situation, you know. And, you know, she kind of, the reason why she wrote writes is because that's where she can have some control that's where she can create you know her own through her own imagination create new worlds and new creatures and new um just idea play around with ideas that are far beyond what she's experiencing in, in her life and i kind of really related with that and i'm like because I've asked this question online, on YouTube videos, to myself many times before I even came across that. And, you know, why do I create on my podcast? I think I had a, a whole episode about it. Um, and it's like that really resonated with me when I heard that. So I'm like, and and I'm not saying, like, my life wasn't horrible or anything. I grew up. I'd say I'm pre probably pretty privileged, um, you know, and it is what it is, you know. But at the same time, I grew up moving around a lot. Sometimes I was mostly with my mom. Sometimes there was a stepfather involved. I had a lot, a lot of kind of weird situations that are maybe not ideal. They're not the, um, you know, the typical, you know, American dream white picket fences, two fan, you know, all that stuff. Um, so, and there was kind of s certain things that made me, and I, I think part of it's just my personality, but there's certain things that I felt restricted, I think, and I don't know. But something made me kind of be more happy hanging out in my room sometimes by myself than being social. I guess, even though I did go play outside with kids and stuff a lot, and I enjoyed that a lot, like, I have very fond memories of, you know, hanging out and playing with kids in my neighborhood, um, so, but there was this instinct for me to kind of 
build something more, you know, transcend, do something awesome. <laughs> I mean, I remember, I remember in kindergarten, I had a dream and the dream was that I would be like, it was almost like I was on stage at a rock concert, but it was <laughs> on the, like the rooftop of my kindergarten school and I, I was doing some kind of singing or performance. I have no clue what it was, but I remember feeling, you know, I don't know. There was something there where it's like I wanted to do something important. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that means. Now, I mean, I have been on stages and stuff, and it's more or less terrifying. <laughs> um, and it's not, I, I don't want to be like famous or whatever. I've talked about that many times. But there's like this sense of wanting to do something great, I guess. Um, and I don't know, but I don't know. I kind of got on a tangent there, but that's all mixed up in all of this. But uh, there's this thing of control, like, and, and I still have it today because circumstances in my life lead me to not have as much control sometimes. In some ways, I have a lot of control. In some ways, I... I'm very restricted. Um, money is always a big one <laughs> that restricts me, stops me from doing certain things, but it allows me to be more creative because I have that limitation, you know, <laughs> limitation breeds creativity, right? So, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I just, but I, I do have this, I feel like that idea of wanting to kind of be the author of a world, you know, and let your imagination run wild and maybe kind of see, maybe it isn't control, you know, is it control? I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do you think that control is somewhere wrapped up in your desire to create? Um, or, you know, wh why do you create? I mean, I, I put the question out once again, you know, why do you create, you know, what you create, what what really pushes you to do it. It's it's a question I think I'll be revisiting my whole life. Um, and I think it's an interesting one. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there, you know, rhetorical kind of. But I think control sometimes has a, a bit to do with it, you know, being in a circumstance where it's not ideal and you're kind of confined and restricted makes you, you know, you know, at least I can go to like a pad of paper and like create something that goes way beyond anything I could ever live, you know, <laughs> you know, um, supernatural and like fantastic superhero, whatever type, you know, elements, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got something from this. If you like the kind of stuff that I'm doing, then uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you on the next Art Sound Off. Peace out, guys and gals.